Good morning. This is for Casey, who wrote Functional Horsemanship about her seven-year-old halflinger mare, and she's currently riding it, uh, riding that horse with a wonder bit, um, which is actually a, a, a gag bit. It's a bit that has a moving mouthpiece on a circular uh, purchase, so when you pull on the direct rein, uh, that bit slides up on, on, the, on the teeth. Whenever you got a bit in the mouth, you gotta, you got to consider uh, the pressure it causes to potentially four places. Places, It can cause pressure to the roof of the mouth, like on a spade bit. So action of the port causes that, that spade bit to go up and touch the roof of their mouth. Not usually on a snaffle bit, you're not going to get that type of action. You can also get pressure to the tongue, across the tongue. You can actually pinch the tongue. Uh, several different bits, especially broken bits, uh, like snaffle bits or um, Argentinian snaffles, that, that would be a broken bit with a long shank can cause that. You can cause pressures to the corners of the mouth, and you can cause pressures to the bar of the mouth, which is right in here. So on that sliding bit, you know, which is called, which is really a gag bit, you'll see a lot of barrel racers use it. I mean, I'm not trying to disparage them. I don't own one. I don't use one. But some barrel racers are uh, pretty good at what they do, and, and they, some of them probably wouldn't, wouldn't ride a horse without one. Um, that may be causing your halflinger mare some issues. Um, so when you want to get rid of that wonder bit or that gag bit uh, for better control, and, and you wrote to me that you're considering going to a mechanical hackamore, uh, you know, the, that's not really going to get you much. The issue with that is, is not control your horse. It's, uh, it's to get that horse more broke to the bit more, and more uh, accustomed to your signals. So you really need some more groundwork with, with that horse. And you also wrote that you, your arms and shoulders are tired every time you ride her from fighting with her. That's another indication that's just a pretty much a green broke horse, and that bit is causing her a lot of anxiety. So, you, you agree with me, Junior? All right, we're going to put a hackamore on Junior and show you what a hackamore does. A mechanical hackamore. This is a mechanical hackamore, and I'm just going to slip it on Junior here. That. I don't have any reins attached to it, but here's where the reins would attach on this uh, five, six, or seven inch shank. Although I've got a rope guard on on this one, um, you may you may ride one without. But a mechanical hackamore is a nose band that could be plastic, it could be rubber, um, it could be rawhide, it could have a chain, a piece of cable in there, and it's usually pretty heavy and adds a lot of weight. Now, I admit to riding in mechanical hackamores in the past, but I've only did that uh, to put a lot of weight on the horse's nose to get him to tip his, ho tip his nose down a little bit, help him uh, bridle up, uh, give him a little, a little help in that. What you got to be careful on a mechanical hackamore is, is you get a lot of leverage when you hook a rein to this. And with this curb chain down here, you see how loose this curb chain is? I can get my whole hand through this curb chain. When you pull back on the shanks of a mechanical hackamore, this curb chain, which should be a lot shorter, puts a lot of pressure under the chin and over the nose. So then you start talking about the different pressure points outside of the horse's mouth. The nose, the chin, and actually the pole as well. So when you start pulling back on the chain on this mechanical hackamore, and you start compressing this nose band and this chain right there, you get a nutcracker effect. That's going to be, that can be pretty doggone severe, especially the shorter and the more tight this chain is. Again, I don't know if it's hard to see, but this chain is very, very loose. I can move this, this shank all the way back, and I've still got space underneath this chain. So how severe that mechanical hackamore is and what, how it's going to re, uh, your horse is going to respond is directly proportional to how tight you have this chain. You know, I, I wouldn't ride in one of these because your horse is probably going to cause him more anxiety. If your horse has a mouth issue, a dental issue, where it can't carry a bit until you get that fixed, you know, then you may want to consider one of these, but just be very, very careful with this chain. Again, if that chain's pretty tight to begin with, this leverage here, which increases your ability to, to put pain on that horse's chin and across his nose, is going to cause more of a loss of control because that horse is going to want to try to get away from it. So I would advocate some more groundwork. I would advocate uh, going back to a snaffle bit, working in the round pen. You did mention that your horse's 
you can ride your horse around the property in just a halter and a lead line. Uh, that shows me that she's probably pretty calm. Junior, back up. There you go. One more thing I want to show you. is what's called a side pull, and it's something I haven't used for a long time. But what it is, it's, it's an integral nose band and snaffle bit on a bridle. So this, br this bridle, of course, goes like a normal bridle over the horse's head. And this snaffle bit fits in his mouth. Okay, Because of the stiffness and the, the double connectors on this, on this side pole and the fact that you've got this nose band holding this snaffle pretty much in place, when you hook the rein to this, it's not going to allow you to jerk really hard on that snaffle. And it may get your horse a little more comfortable carrying a bit, and it may give the clearer signals because you're pulling from the side of the horse's mouth rather than underneath it like you would a Bussal or a Hackamore, uh, a, a, a real Hackamore, or that, uh, that uh, halter and lead line that you've been riding with around the property. Okay, so what? You, again, you may want to consider a side pull. You may want to consider just putting a snaffle bit in that horse and getting her used to that, maybe ground driving her in the round pen uh, or working in an arena someplace where she doesn't have too much anxiety. And I take that mechanical hackamore and that gag bit and hang them back up on the wall to use for uh, demonstrations like I have done. Casey, I hope that helps. And if, and if you have uh, some more issues, certainly write me back. Have a good day. This is Functional Horsemanship with June.